Yo, guess what? BMF is back, baby. And today, we're gonna create something so dope, even 50 Cent gonna be calling. Seriously, with all these shows getting axed left and right, swagger, rap shit, brother, son. So when a TV show does get a renewal, let's celebrate it. Especially since Power Ghost 2 just got its final doomsday call as well. What's going on, YouTube? It's Ali Dope, and I'm checking in once again with another dope YouTube video. And I was really inspired by 50 Cent's BMF show. I've been watching it. I've been watching it since season one. So I wanted to create this dope TV poster design uh, showcasing some of the characters on the show. Now, if you're not already hip, BMF tells the story of the Black Mafia family founded by two brothers, Meech and Terry Flannery. Everybody move as one. Everybody is prospering in some kind of way, in their own way. Now these dudes made it straight out of the streets of Detroit southwest detroit let's put it at that during the 1980s crack era now they made major moves in the drug game and changed the game forever plus did you know big meech's son plays himself on the show how wild is that crazy right now if you know me or anything about me i love all types of crime movies crime tv shows everything crime related i don't know why i'm just infatuated with crime i love mafia mob dark underground crime stories I think getting up out of the underground is like the same way as making it on Wall Street or something like that. Anyways, now that you guys have that bit of information, we gotta make something dope for that. So without further ado, let's get to it. Yes, sir. So I started off with a 4x5 canvas. I started laying out all my images where I felt like they would fit best. I actually ended up swapping out one of the images, but we'll get to that. So after that, I went ahead and cut out each character out of their scene. You just click this button, the square with a circle, and create a mask. Now with this mask, all you're gonna do is create a group, and then you're just gonna copy the mask that you had on your image to the group, so that all the adjustments that you make on the image will only affect the image because the group is masked, not the image. So you can keep all the group adjustments into one folder instead of having your folder and then all the adjustments clip mask to the image it's just a better workflow so i did that for each image all right so after i'm placing all the images and creating all the groups for each one that took a bit of a time now like i said i was ha i would like like i said before i was having a little bit of trouble with placing greenie i flipped them all different types of ways and it just wasn't working so i swapped him out for another character named um i think it's like miami or the miami killers i swapped it out for the leader of their group because that's going to be on the Atlanta side and I split it up to the Detroit side and then I tr split it up to the Atlanta side some some of the major characters um for the show and I just split it up like that and as you can see I went the two top heads up top the middle cast on the on the second row and then the bigger characters on the bottom to kind of like some of the backstory is based on these two characters so that's kind of why I placed them there and I feel like that's where they fit best I felt like Markeisha worked best on T's side because she's a major factor in that. Um, then he has a squad. And then you got two chains playing stacks. So I thought that was cool. Now let's just talk about the background for a little bit. For the background, I just used Atlanta because this season is mostly based in Atlanta. A place that's near and dear to my heart. Shout out Peachtree. Shout out Buckhead. But you did that. And then I added the, puck, the Buckhead to Detroit sign signage as an ode to the original poster that they had so i just thought it would be a nice touch i did have to touch it up a little bit like i said before i had to go ahead and use color range to go ahead and remove all of the blue because i just wasn't going to go in on each particular part and start cutting out the blue and then similar select wasn't working so now after that i did turn it to the side i turned it to the side a little bit and then i used generative fill to remove the signage from the right side and I also moved the arrow to like down, like pointing down, like go this way type thing. And then all I did was use Arial to type the words Detroit for the sign. I matched it up to the peach tree so they're the same size. And I just put that over there. Once again, that was like an ode to the original poster. So let's get into some adjustments. So in the background, I went for the signage for the last final touch. I just added an exposure to it. I thought it worked well and like I said the drop shadow now I added a gradient map to the background I think I said it's like overlay or soft light one of those I did a black and white gradient map 
you could do regular black and white but i just like using gradient maps when i'm um, doing adjustments and fills like that and i just wanted to make it a little bit darker it seemed like it was too bright and happy so the the show is like a darker crime show so i did want some darker elements into it so i did that for the background I also added a few hue and a uh, saturation just to bring the saturation down a little bit. Like I said before, it was just too bright and happy. So I just brought that. So now let's get into some of the adjustments for the characters. Okay, so I always start all my characters with um, camera raw filter off the rip. I feel like you just need to adjust it. I always fix the clarity. I always fix the texture, the exposure, dehaze, color, noise reduction. And then I add a little bit, a smidget. Of sharpening in there to dial it up now for the extra settings so what you're gonna do is you're gonna create a new layer you're gonna press shift f5 and create a layer that's gonna fill it with 50% gray with this 50% gray you're gonna set that layer to overlay when you set that layer to overlay you're gonna go over there to the burn and dodge tool when you go to the burn and dodge tool you're gonna turn them born burn and you're gonna set it to shadows you can set your exposure to around 25% and then you're going to go ahead and highlight and emphasize some of the midtones and the shadows that you want to darken up. This is where some of the painting aspect comes into the characterization to like really control the shadows and the dr dramatization of the enhancements. Now for the lightning of the image, which is the dodge tool. So like maybe you're dodging the fire. You're going to set that to highlight and again, 25% exposure and then go ahead and highlight all the spots that you want. And I did that, like I said, for each individual character. It took a took a little minute, but I did it for each individual character. Now, to emphasize some of the light in his eyes, I create a brightness and contrast um, layer. With this layer, I turn the mask inverse, and then I only brighten up the eyes. So I mask out the eyes and then adjust the mask to what I needed to adjust to. And as well, I also create a white color fill for this. And I fill in the, like, put little dots in the eyes just to give it a little bit more, like, glossiness look. But that's really it. I really like how this one came out. Particularly, I think his particular image just worked best for the colors. I try to get all of them to work like that. But like I said, all the pictures were in different settings and stuff like that. So... You just work with what you have. So now what you're saying is me doing the same thing for Terry, camera raw, dodge and burn, hue and saturation to bring down some of the saturation of the image. And if you want to play with some of the exposure, you can. Now, now one of the things I did do for Terry's image is I went to color range and I selected the shadows. No, I went to color range and I selected the highlights because his highlights were just a little bit brighter than the other images. So I took that and I created a mask from those highlight selections, made it an exposure layer, and I just adjusted the exposure. And I think I just turned it down just a tad bit, just cause like I said, it was just a little bit too bright for what I was trying to do. Now for the rest of the characters, I didn't burn and dodge every character, just a couple of them. I added some, some lighting to the eyes for most of the characters. So now I'm taking a brush and I'm adding a little bit of shadow to each individual character. So then I could have just added a drop shadow, but that loses the controlness of it. And it just looks so uniform. I feel like when you use a brush and I adjusted the brush too, I shrunk the brush in a little bit just so it shapes the person of a body. And I just went and created a new layer and I just painted a light black on all of it to give it some depth of feel for in for everyone so after i added all the drop shadows for each of the characters i used the same brush i just turned it up a little bit bigger i made the brush white and i set the layer to uh, i think linear dodge or lighten both of those will work and you're going to do this on a whole new layer and i just painted the background white like i said to bring up some separation and some depth behind them in the backness lastly i went ahead and found some clouds i felt like the clouds would add like a nice haze between them the background and that white brush i painted on earlier some of the final touches i did i added highlights like i said not to every character but just the two main characters up top and the two main characters in the bottom i just felt like it would hit best with them i don't think everybody needed highlights and for the highlights all i really did was create a color fill layer with white you double click on it blending mode the underlying layer you're going to press your alt button drag the alt button that's going to adjust the size uh and the spread of the blending of the white that you have or any color 
and now what you're going to do is inverse that mask and paint back on the areas that you want some of the highlights to show up with you're going to do that same idea you're going to do another color fill layer inverse that layer and this time you're just going to leave that color blank now you can set it to lighten if you would like i think it's cool sometimes but you can leave it as normal and then you're just going to draw like a, a strong faint line and you can use leave this exposure at like 75 100 really and you're just going to go like literally right around the character um giving them that strong highlight and then for and then specifically for this one for meech only i added an inner glow with like a light brown to match his uh hat and his outfit and his face i just felt like it lifted it off and it worked best with like the highlights now i added like i said as you're seeing i'm adding some highlights to bryant i don't even know if that's his name the detective now i'm adding some highlights to braxton and after that i'm just adjusting the size of the actual image itself i go i went ahead and grouped all of the image together to create one group sometimes people go and flatten it i'm not that brave i always duplicate it because i just like having the original files by itself and then the converted layer create a whole nother document with those files that you can adjust as well okay i picked a new layer overlay i painted white on some of the images i felt like that brung out or gave it like a nice little highlight that i really thought was dope so i added that in there just to give it some pop in the middle since i give i didn't give them their own individual highlight now i added a gradient fill to the bottom so it's black coming all the way up to like fade it out for that like postery feel i just added the black mafia um logo in there i thought it'd be cool to just kind of have that in there i'm using a gradient map because i wanted to add like a little bit more color and bring that color out of it so I always start like I said with a black and white black and white mask overlay it and then I adjust the settings based on what I need to adjust it for I also added another gradient map with the uh, photo-ish gradients they have a bunch so I went through a bunch of them um, I end up landing like something like a brownish color like I said I'm, this is all based on like Meech's fit really because I feel like it just matches everything the browns the greens the blacks the whites I felt like it felt seamlessly so i use that and then another thing i've been using a lot recently are color lookup tables they're like luts but in photoshop so i just end up using like a uh, the fuji lut uh i hadn't imported any luts i just used the fuji lut that I already came with and i just adjusted the the opacity to like 50 percent or something like that nothing too crazy now like i said to you guys before some of the final touches you're going to do is you're going to add camera raw filters to the whole thing i'm not going to go um, clarity crazy for this because i already did but i am going to clarize the whole thing so it looks uniform a little bit of texture a little bit of exposure and then like the final final touch on this for me was adding a little bit of grain and then i've been using this thing called lens correction to add a little bit of rgb to it but nothing too crazy some people go a little bit wild but like i just wanted that little bit of lens correction in there all right creators that's a wrap for today's show we took a look into the world of bmf created a dope poster for 50 cents bmf series i want to hear from you i want to know what you think is there any tv shows or any movies that you would like to see me do or that you would want to make for yourself i would love to see what you cook up to be honest drop your comments in the comments below or hit us on the discord and hey if today's video helped you out in any way shape or form please 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 you already know hit that like button and smash that subscribe button so you don't miss a drop but until next time you guys stay inspired keep creating keep hustling and most importantly keep learning and until next time y'all i'm ali dope and i'm checking out yes sir